Hey there everyone, happy Tuesday and welcome to this week's Two Lesbians, Two Answers. Tanya always makes a list and she always writes down like what she kind of thinks her answer is going to be. I never know what I'm going to say. I don't want to get all verbose on you, lose your attention, just want to answer your questions. Someone asked, what would be the craziest sex act you would try if there were no repercussions? I don't know that there are really repercussions when it comes to sex. I've always done everything that I wanted to do as soon as it crossed my mind. I'm sure you don't find that hard to believe. I guess maybe sex in public you could be arrested, but like, who cares? If you're gonna be arrested for something, let it be sex in public. Oh, I really like this one. Were you nervous in your first sexual experience with a girl? Did either of you know what you were doing and did you still orgasm? Of course we didn't know what we were doing because first of all, I was 12 in my first sexual experience with a girl. Still thought I was straight. Please enjoy that thought. Let's go to a later in life, more significant, like a little bit older um, sex act, but still didn't know what I was doing. It's not really about skill or what you know that you're doing. It's about being comfortable with a person and knowing what they like or them knowing what you want. When you first sleep with someone, you kind of are just feeling it out, literally. And normally you don't have an orgasm and they don't always, or you know, one does and one doesn't. And that's just totally normal. And I, I don't think it's anything to get hung up on. It's just like a part of figuring out what you are gonna do with this person. Like, who knows? I think that you're so preoccupied with, you know, thinking too much. This is always the problem with orgasms. Thinking too much will kill any orgasm potential you had going. When you're with someone, you're trying to figure out, oh, what are they thinking or do they like this? Or like, whoa, why did they put their hand there? Then you're not really able to like relax and actually let the experience happen. So it's really hard to have an orgasm. So I don't really think that's the end goal. I think that being with the person is what matters. I'm new to the whole lesbian dating scene. How do you know if a girl's interested? A lot of people have a hard time knowing when someone else is into them. And I am like, what is the problem here? The gestures, like gesticulation with your hands, or if they're looking at you in the eyes, if they're smiling a lot, if they're laughing at your really, really bad jokes. If they text you like seven or eight times after you leave their presence, they probably like you. If they remember things that you have said to them and bring it up later, they're probably thinking about you. And that's why it's sticking up here. You just have to pay attention. Just pay attention. You'll get it. You'll know. I promise. One that really meant a lot to me was someone said, as a kid, I, that they had bounced around from foster home to foster home and that they have cigarette burns along their torso and their back and they have um, scars from, that they're falling for a girl and they want to have sex with the girl with the shirt off, but they're afraid that she's going to see that and run. I will tell you that I have scars on my arm from when I was 16 years old and cut myself very badly with a razor. I haven't done anything like that since then and I was just going through a terrible, terrible time and it was really awful and to go to that length, you know, and that's self-inflicted, which I think could possibly be more shameful than someone else having hurt you. But there are times where I consider that people can't see the scars on my arm and I think like, gosh, you know, it was 16 years ago, but it's still here and it's still haunting me and how do I explain this to them and what if they just think I'm, you know, crazier than most people think I already am. It can be a daunting thing, but anyone, especially someone you're falling for, they think they're going to be very understanding. I don't think it's anything to be worried about at all. It's all okay and just that that's beautiful too. Like every single part of you is what makes up who you are and what makes you beautiful. So if she loves you, or if she even likes you just a whole bunch, it's not gonna bother her at all. And it shouldn't. And I'm really sorry that that happened to you. And that you even have to worry about that. So then I, I have this one that I thought was awesome because I, for a second I was like, is this my girlfriend writing on my form spring asking me questions? This girl says, my girlfriend is so scared of a relationship that whenever we get close, she runs away, leaves the state. <laughs> Nothing in life is certain. It's always hard to tell, especially when you've got someone else's agenda working with your own, you know, life. But what you can do is you can believe 110% in her and in you. And in that way, you will always know that you gave it your best. Because if you don't and she leaves again and you think, ah, Maybe it was my negativity that I was projecting onto the whole situation, or maybe it was my doubts, my uncertainty that made this happen. You're never gonna know. You're always gonna wonder. 
So I've got a lot more questions here, but I'm out of time this week. So I will try to make either another video later on this week or next week. And much love to Tanya. Bye.